People start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. I probably took a bullet to the head because of the things that they say about me. An example of the baiting and the barbs that flew Tuesday night in Philadelphia in a debate that will apparently have no encore, according to the former president, who announced he's done debating. Panel, given it was a bad night for the former president, doesn't he really need another bite at the apple? I ask you, Michelle Maples. No. I would say th that was that was so painful to watch and I'm kind of with Marcus I watched it because well I I'm here and I, and I need to be informed but good God that was painful and I really don't want to suffer through another one and I don't think the American people need to suffer through another one even after this debate I don't think there has been much movement of the needle I think people know who they're going to vote for and I know lots of people who are deciding to sit this one out because they're just frankly unimpressed with both candidates. So no, I don't think Trump needs to do another debate. We know we have four years of his presidency to see what his leadership what a style was like and what his policy decisions were. And we have three and a half years of Kamala Harris and we know what her leadership style is and we know what her policies or lack of policies are. And so no, I think we move forward. Let's get to this election and get it done. Okay, uh, Marcus, I'm going to offer them an option. If they want to come here for a fair-minded panel and Q&A, uh, we'll fly in Maples, too. Uh, Marcus, uh, thoughts here. Uh, what does it tell you when he says, I'm done? Listen, I remember, done is, is, is the operative word, right? I remember a little bit back, there was a certain president that fared poorly in a debate, and his party yanked him from the position. I have suggested for quite some time now that the that the GOP should do the same thing. Why isn't the GOP saying right here, right now, guys, we need the circle of wagons. We need to get this guy out of here because the, the language he was using, the tone and tenor that he was using is frightful. Vice President Harris made a great point when she pointed out the five-star generals that the people in his staff, the folks who are credible to the United States of America, have suggested how <laughs> dangerous he is for this nation. And as much as it pains Republicans to admit it, they've got to face the fact that America is in danger if we allow this man to get back in office. Charles, without naming names, what are Republicans saying privately about what happened and the path forward? No, How do they names. win? Name names. Um, you know, I mean, honestly, I, I've seen a lot of people who did like the debate. They thought that he did a good job. and uh, But also, I think these are folks who are very kind of steeped in Republican politics, and sometimes it, it's worth taking a step back and kind of looking at it objectively. But I think people are still very excited. And also, with him not choosing to do debates, I've seen support for that because everybody knows that his strength is being out there on the stump with people. That's where he's good at. He's good at the rallies. He's good at talking to people one-on-one, -on -one, interacting with them. The debate stage, he was good with Hillary Clinton and with Joe, uh, Joe Biden, but obviously Kamala is a, a kind of a different type of candidate. And so why not go back to where his strengths are? And, and, I, and I don't see why he wouldn't do that. Um, and also, I think only Kamala has something to gain from that because he, everyone knows who he is. Their decisions pretty much made or their opinion is about him. She's not there yet. Even though she's been vice president for three and a half years, I think there's still a lot of unknowns with people out there about her. All right, we're going to leave.